Hey everyone, uh, this is uh, Box Seat Baseball. I wanted to uh, give any of those that uh, may have not tried Box Seat Baseball uh, a chance to do a little demonstration video here. Uh, just to show uh, that you can play this game on your computer with PDFs, uh, it does slow you down quite a bit. Uh, cards and dice uh, on the tabletop would probably be a lot quicker. But I wanted to just play a couple of innings here and show you that it is possible to play box seat baseball on your computer if you so desire. Uh, I've got a game, a 1962 game between the Milwaukee Braves at Candlestick Park against the Giants. I'm using the uh, Stratomatic uh, computer program to score the games. You get your defensive layout, nice pretty picture of the ballpark. Uh, ball roller down here does all my rolls for me. Um, I'll explain these roles as we go. Uh, the the top the top line here is the main line for the batter rolls, uh, and the red die is a ten di a ten di sided die. Uh, but I'll explain all that as we go. But uh, the pitchers are Warren Spawn for Milwaukee, and uh, Warren Juan Marichal for the uh, Giants. Uh, their um, pitcher cards. Are here. Uh, here's Marischal's. What I've done to try to save time is took a picture on my phone of Marischal's pitching card and Warren Spahn's pitching card, which is right here. So I've got that picture on my cell phone uh, in front of me so I can quickly refer to the pitcher card when I need to. Uh, that Obviously, the pictures on my phone will not show up on this video on the screen. But that's what I'll be using the pitcher's card here for uh, Marischal and Spahn. Um, first batter of the game. Now, I've already done the weather effects. The temperature is the candlestick here in April. is a balmy 64 degrees. Uh, usually very windy conditions uh, at candlestick. But uh, the, the wind today is just 6 miles an hour uh, blowing out towards center field. So that will have a one-point effect on the home home run ratings. Here's the ballpark for uh, box seat baseball candlestick park. Center field is normally zero effect. With the wind it'll be a plus one. Uh, the left field effect will be plus one and right field effect plus two. So plus one, plus one, and plus two will be the uh, ballpark effects. Uh, I'm not using any of the optional extra ballpark um, uh, options for further advancement of play. I'm still learning the game myself, so I'm trying to keep it fairly simple right now. Anyway, so we got Howie Bedell leading off for the Milwaukee Braves against Juan Marichal. We'll go ahead and roll here on his card. And the roll is a 52 for the 52. Uh, we come over here and find 52 against Marichal as a right-hander. It's a K2 and looking at uh, Marichal's card, uh, the K2 is uh, against a right-handed batter like Bedell is, no, excuse me, a left-handed batter is a HG3. And again, just so you know, I'm using this right here. Uh, it was a uh, K rating of 2 and against the left-handers HG3. So... Bedell, uh, HG3 is going to be a uh, hard grounder uh, to, hang on a second, H, yeah, HG, uh, HG3, hey, HG3, uh, I use this down here, the flip cards to find out uh, uh, what uh, the result is, these fit, uh, flip cards, there's uh, 17 pages of this card. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Uh, and on each page there is six flip cards. So that these numbers over here, this is a random die 1 to 17 for a page number and 1 to 6 for a flip number. So to find out what an HG3 is for Bedell, we go down here to the 2-4. Uh, that is for the for the uh, also 17 pages of hit results uh, and batting, batting results with six on each. So let's be page two, number four. So that's page one, 
there's page two, number one, two, three, and four. I use this flip card. So for an HG3, we got HG3. It's a hard ground ball to the first baseman who makes the play. First baseman Cepeda. So we have a ground out, hard ground out to first. Mac Jones will be up next. We find Mac Jones on the uh, player card here. And where is he? Mac Jones. See, this does take more time finding uh, finding the players here. Where are you, Mac Jones? Oh, darn, I don't see him. Well, I wasn't ready for this. Jerry Crown, Hank Aaron. Hmm. I don't see Mac Jones. Is Mac Jones? There he is. Way down to bottom there, underneath the uh, pitchers. All right, Mac Jones was hiding down there. Usually they're in with all the hitters, not be before the pitchers. Uh, all right, roll on Mac Jones. 1-5 against a right-hander is a K-2. Uh, K-2 would be a HG-2. Now, we can find out exactly where that hit by the same way. We go to the flip card. Let's go back to the very first page, and we'll go down to page four. Result four. So that's one, two, three, four. Result four is right here, HG2. It's going to be a hard grounder to the shortstop, Pagan, who makes the play. Two away, and Hank Aaron will be up next. Let's go to Henry's. Whoops, that's the Giants. So you can see how this is. Uh, we'll definitely slow you down. Here's uh, here's Hank Aaron right down here. 64-9. 64-9. That's a SN single result, number one. Against a right-hander, which Marichal is, he a, has a hit rating of 10. So we go to the flip cards. We'll go up to start. And we're going to go down to page five, number five. So that's page one, two, three, four, five. Hit result five. Uh, flip card five. And on number 10 is an A. That means it's early rating uh, for Marischal. If he is an A, then uh, he will stop this hit. If he's not, I'll show you. I can look at this card and see that he has an early rating of D which you can see right here, early D. So he does not able to, he's not able to stop the single. So it's a single one. If you want to know exactly what it, where it was hit, uh, you go down to page 17, which is the very last page, and number four. So it'd be a single one, and that's a right field. AA means angling away. So it's a, a single angling away from the right fielder. Uh, Aaron's on with a base hit. So two out single for Aaron. Uh, we'll see if he can steal a base. Hank has a SBF of zero. We compare that to Juan Marichal's SBF of minus one for a total of minus one. And we do a flip card. We'll roll this and get it page 11, 6. That's 17, 16, 15, 16, 17, 18, 12, 11. 11.6 is right here, and the flip is plus 5. So no no total base. It would have to have been a minus 1 or minus 2 uh, to be able for him to be able to steal. Eddie Matthews is next. Here's Matthews' card. Aaron's at first, two away. 15.3. Eddie Matthews, uh, K result minus 3 on uh, Marichal's card. K result is the lefty minus 3 is blank, so that will go down as a strikeout. And that will end the inning for the Milwaukee Braves top first. Sponza uh, is now on the hill. And we'll go to Spiney's card here. Pitcher's card. Again, I've got this on my phone, so I don't, wouldn't have to do this. So it would be a little quicker than this. All right. Here we go. Lead off is Harvey King. And Sponza left hand. The result is, result is 12-9. 12 against the left hander is a walk with no uh, qualifier, so that's a leadoff walk for Keane. Keane has an SPF of minus one, 
and Warren Spawn is uh, SPF of minus two for minus three. So anything minus three or worse is no chance of him stealing. So he'll be staying put. Jose Pagan, 62 1. Let's go to Pagan's card. There it is right there. 62 1 against the left hander. So K minus two. Uh, K minus two against the right handed batter is an RG2. So Spawn doesn't strike out a whole lot. Normally a K minus two would be a strikeout. RG2, we look down at page five, result one on the flips. So we go here to, there's page one. We go down to two, three, four, five, result one. Um, and uh, RG2, RG2 is a ground ball to the third baseman. <coughs> For RG, it's here in the middle of the letter B. So Pagan has to be at least a B runner in order to keep prevent this from being a double play. There's a force at second. Pagan will either be doubled up or it will be a force uh, a fielder's choice if he's a B or better. Pagan is a B, so he does get to first in times to first, so it's just a fielder's choice. If he'd been a C or C minus runner, it would have been a double play. So Pagan now is at first. His uh, SPF is zero and Spawn is minus two, so very small chance of him running, but with Willie Mays up, not going to risk him getting thrown out. Willie will bat here, 24-9, here's Mays card, 24 against the left-hander, is uh, a long fly two uh, with a scoring position hit. Since there's no runners in scoring position here, we ignore the SPH and go with a long fly two. Long fly two. Page 13, result 1, that's 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 1, long fly. 2 is a deep fly to center field, uh, but it is tracked down. Uh, there's no uh, notation here for the runner at first to be able to advance, so he stays put. 2 away for Orlando Cepeda. 43-4, Cepeda is... Right here, 43-4 against the lefty is a walk one. A walk one is a uh, SG2. Uh, so Cepeda is going to hit into a slow grounder to end the inning. Top of the second, Milwaukee will come back up. Joe Adcock is going to lead it off. And here's Adcock's card. 66-9, Adcock, six, this is a deep fly hit chance. Uh, we got to see if he gets a hit. Uh, Adcock against a right-hander, which Marischal is a 7.5 hit rating. So 7.5, uh, we go to page 15-5 on the flips. 15-5, we know there's 17 total, so we can go to the very last one, which is 17 right there, and go 16, 15, 5, is, this is 5. As you can see here, one, two, three, four, five. So right down here, seven and a half rating is a minus one hit rating. Uh, minus one against Marischal hit rating. Right-handed batter. I'll just go ahead and show this to you. So that you can see it, if I can get to him. Minus one hit rating against a right-handed batter is a LO2 BTR. LO2, the left side means base is empty. If there's men on, it would be the batter's result, which would be a deep fly chance. Uh, since there's nobody on, this is a LO2, which is a line out uh, for one down. Again, I could find out exactly who he lined out to. It would just take, it would take up more time. Frank Balling will be next. One out, nobody on. 22-7. Balling, 22-7 uh, against a... Um, Right-hander. Uh, now on the batter's cards, the splits uh, are zero to four. Roll on the red die is the left side, and five to nine is on the right side. Since it's a seven, we do the hit batter check. Since this is in red, we do the hit check, which is a ten uh, against the right-hander. So go to page six two for the hit check. Go up to page one, two, three, four, five, six, two. And the 10 is a, a B since we're not in the early innings anymore. This is like a blank. So this will go back to the batter's card, which is an HP 
hit batter. So Fowling is on with the hit batter. And he has any chance of stealing minus two. And Mayor shows minus one. So minus three, no chance of him going. Joe Torre will be next. And there's Joe Torre's car. Runner at first. Torre 32 2 against the right hander is a single two with an eight hit rating against right hander. So single two with an eight. We go to page 17 5. Now, since the page 17 only has four results, let me show you that. Here is page 17. It only has one, two, three, four. I use this one down here. If it's five or six, then I'll just re-roll. So I'm going to do uh, use number four, which is this right here. Um, I forget what the hit Tory was. 32. It's a SN2. He's an eight. So an eight here is a minus three. Good chance for a hit here. Um, it is blank. Hit rating minus three. Uh, so that's blank. This is going to be a, a SN2. Uh, now down here, 4-4, four, four, we find out where it's hit to. 4-4, four, four, 1, 2, 3, 4. SN2 is to left field, angling away. Now number 2, we go down here to base advancement, runner on first, number 2. And we see that a B runner at first uh, has a manager's decision to be able to go to third. Um, the runner at first is balling. He has to be at least a B to even have a chance to be considered to go to third. Balling is a B, so we can see if it uh, has a chance to go. Since he's a B, the left fielder is keen. Harvey's arm rating is a D. So a D arm and a B runner. We go to the to the um, trifolds for base advancement, single to left, first and third manager's decision. All right, here it is down here. We had a B runner and a D arm. So he's got five to nine. A roll of five to nine would make it zero to four. Would not. It's a 50-50 chance. Um, it, with one out, it may not be a bad idea to try it. Let's try it. So zero to four on this roll would be out. Five to nine, he'd be safe. And it's a three, so he gets nailed. So we got a single, and Balling tried to get to third with one out, but he was gunned down. So two down. Um, does it say anything? Doesn't say uh, if play is at the plate, the trailing runner can advance, but uh, no play at the plate, so he's still at first. Tory is at first. Does he have any chance to steal? Tory is a minus two. No, he doesn't. Roy McMillan will be next. And Roy McMillan's card is right here. 22-2. Roy McMillan, 22 against the right-hander. Walk minus 2. Marichal at uh, walk minus 2 is blank, so McMillan will draw the walk. Spawn now up with 2 out and 2 on. Warren Spawn, 14-8. Let's find Spawn's batting card. Whoops, there it was. 14. A chance for a double. A double three. Now his hit rating against the right hander is a seven. We go to page ten, result one. All right, let's go to the flips. Page ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Result one. Uh, Spawn is. What was his? Fourteen. He is a double. He's a seven. So seven up here is a one. So hit. Hit rating one. Uh, Spawn is a left handed batter. Hit rating one. It's a normal fly three. So Spawn is just going to fly out to end the inning. And that ends the top of the second. We'll go to the bottom of the second. Philippe Alou will lead off for the Giants. Philippe Alou, find his card. There he is. Lou's roll is 43-9. 43 against the left-hander. Another possible double uh, against the left-hander. He's at 12. Very good rating. So double one with 12. We'll go to page 9-2. Right, that was page 10. That's 9. That's 2. 
Uh, his rating was a 12, so this is a B again since it's not the early innings or the late innings. We ignore that, and Alou is going to have a double one here. Um, uh, there it is, double one, 16-6 to see where exactly he hit it and how he hit it. That's page 17, 16-6, double one. That's right fielder, uh, bounces to the wall. So a bouncing double to the wall for Alou, a good start for the uh, Giants here in the second. Ed Bailey will be next. 61-4. Ed Bailey. Let's see. Bailey. Whoops, there he was right there. 61 against the lefty is a K minus 1. Against Spawn. Uh, lefty is blank, so that's a strikeout. One down. Davenport, 55-6. Jim Davenport. 55 against it says a possible single hit rating is 10. It's a possible single one, 10. Page 12, 2. Number 2, hit rating was 10. That's a 1. Uh, so 1 spawns hit rating against a right handed batter 1 is going to be a pop up 1. So Davenport. It's a pop-up. So that's two down. And Hiller now, a 276 hitter. Uh, Marischal's on deck. Uh, let's go ahead and put uh, Hiller on to bring up Marischal. Marischal, pretty good hitter, though, 236. Marischal, first and second. Uh, it will be a 15-9. Marischal's hitting card is right here. 15-9 against the lefty is a K. So Marischal strikes out, and that will end it. So through two, it is no score. We'll try to get through one more inning here. Howie Bedell leads off 21-1 against a right-hander. That's a normal flyout one. Mac Jones, 66-1, and we know Jones is way down here. There you are, Mac, 66-1 against a right-hander. That's a strikeout. And Hank Aaron, 26-2. Hank Aaron, 26 against the right hand Walk two. Uh, against uh, Marischal, walk rating of two. That's a slow ground out. And that'll end it. Bottom of the third, Harvey King will lead off. Against Spine, 44-6. 44 against a lefty is, since there's nobody in scoring position there, it's a pop-up one. Jose Pagan, 24-7. Possible infield single. He's a 9.5 against lefties, 13-3. All right, 2-3, 4-5, 6-7, 8-9, 10, 13-3. And he was a nine and a half. Nine and a half is zero. Spawn zero against the righty is a pop up one. So that's a pop up. Willie Mays, 36 0. Now we have an error chance on the zero there. Willie Howard Mays, 36 against the left hander. Possible double. He's a 10. Page 13, 2. This was already page 13. So 10. Okay, he's a 10 against the lefty. 13, 2 is a minus 1. Hit rating against Spawn uh, with uh, it's uh, with nobody on. It's batter with man on. It's line out. Nobody on, so this will be a batter. So this will be a double. Uh, one for Mays. we got to find out where he hit it. 17-5, since that we don't have uh, the 4 on page 17, we'll use the 2. So we go to the very last page and use number 2, which is this one. Maze's hit was, again, 36. It's a double 1, so double 1. It's the right field in the gap, right field gap. So we have to check for an error on the right fielder here. The right fielder is Mac Jones. Mac Jones, 
error rating for right field is 14. Now I'm going to roll again and get this number here, which is 1, 1. Okay, page 1, result 1. Page 1, result 1. And for errors on hits, it's 15. And I forgot, Mac Jones is at 14, so he doesn't quite cover it. Uh, so this is an error on Mac Jones. So Mays has hit a double and an error. Now we have to check the outfield error chart. Outfield errors. Where are you? Outfield errors on a double. Um, let's see, it was in the gap, wasn't it? So double in the gap. Um, zero to six. Bases empty. Uh, so I roll the ten sider and we get an eight. So double in the gap. Uh, for no by bases were empty, so we use the zero result. Number eight falls in this category. We use the zero, not down here, because zero's base is empty. So this is our result here. Outfielder makes errant throw, badly overthrowing second base and attempt to throw out batter, allowing batter to advance to third. So we have a double in the air on the right fielder, Jones. <clears throat> <coughs> so Mays is at third with two out for Orlando Cepeda. Cha Cha, 31. Let's see, where's Cepeda? 31. Another possible double against the left here. Now he's a 9. We'll go to page 13, 4. He's a 9. All right. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 4. He's a 9, so this is a minus 1 against a right-hander. Uh, this is the same thing. It's a batter with nobody on and line out with somebody on. Since Mays is on third, it's a line out 1. We can see exactly who 